Hey guys, Jason here. Gonna do a quick overview of what I've been working on on this layout um, in the last year. Uh, this layout was started a little less than a year ago. It is uh, the fifth layout I have begun to build. There's been much smaller ones and they get bigger and bigger every time. So I'm gonna do some walk arounds and show you what I got going. Uh, running DCS with a Z4000. Got that over the holidays. I'm running on Atlas track, Atlas switches. Um, all the locomotives you see on the layout right now are MTH with Proto 2. Um, these locomotives sitting right here are uh, Lionel, except for the BNSF which is Proto-1. Uh, I'll be working on making the top loop to run all those conventional locomotives as well as my DCS engines. Uh, this is my, my New York Central Hudson. It's probably my favorite, favorite engine. Uh, not just on my layout, but of all time, pretty much. Uh, this engine house, I built that out of a kit from Atlas. Still have some cleanup work to do on it. And I have a bunch of uh, Republic Steel stuff parked around there in the yard area. Uh, this this whole bit is kind of like the yard. Uh, there's a track on the other side of those auto racks. Got a, a line parked underneath the top level to, to hold some cars. Uh, the top level was became functionable over the holidays. Uh, I built this ramp, which uh, takes us up to the top and meets up with that switch right there. I'm still waiting on one more switch to connect back to itself, and that'll make the top level act as a reversing loop, which uh, should be very cool. Got uh, some triple crown road railers. I'm still working on collecting more of those. Pulled by a Norfolk Western steamer, which isn't very prototypical, but but oh well. Uh, I'm missing my uh, SD50 Norfolk Southern. It was a month old, and the board already went bad. So that's in the shop being repaired. I've got auto parts, box cars from Atlas, a real long uh, auto rack train. Uh, still adding to that. I've got this uh, these ES 44s. I've got a powered and a non-powered, pulling a bunch of uh, double stacks, and then a few other mixed cars. Uh, last bit to show. Uh, We've got these tunnel portals we started working on. Uh, we've done those over the holidays. Uh, next, next big project is uh, putting in the trestle supports, which I've started building. Uh, scratch built. It's pretty tricky to make, but it should look really cool when it's done. So there'll be a big trestle there. A big a little trestle there. And, uh, some mountains over here covering covering the underneath of, of the top level and, and everything there. Um, this outside track right here goes through that portal and uh, goes down under my layout to uh, there's a track down here and that also acts as a reversing loop. So I got two reversing loops. Um, this layout was greatly inspired by uh, the Black Diamond Railway DVD uh, to get work started on this. Um, also, uh, wanted to get a video on there before I got to go back to college. Um, there's some great guys who put out videos. Uh, Bravo 6, I love your stuff. Uh, Eric Ziegel's got some cool stuff too. 
a lot of guys I subscribe to. Uh, everyone's got really cool stuff. Uh, keep them coming. They're really inspiring to me and I'm sure to other people. So uh, that's going to be all. Uh, hopefully this video, I'll follow this video with uh, some more running footage. And uh, I'll see you soon.